I said I would just read one. Um, there's a series of convers poems written sort of in dialogue with Walt Whitman through this book, which was written also around the time, some of it around the time of the 200th birthday of, of Whitman. And I participated in a panel, two panels at the time in Washington to celebrate the 200th birthday. And so this poem is called Emotion Again. I asked the panel, the audience, what next? We have finished celebrating Walt Whitman's 200th birthday. Who will lead us into the next century? Do we find the driver in our own batteries, energy coursing through cells from foods we eat for body and mind? Like this delicious feast finished now, 10 days at summer's beginning to honor the founder of our Republic of Letters, not the first, but the most expansive American who stretched his imagination to encompass the continent and travel beyond to India, to the moon, sun and stars, into the interior constellations in a leaf of grass. Walt Whitman, we do not want the party to end. We wish to keep stroking your gray beard reading the day's news out loud as you lay dying in Camden, bedridden, reported on almost daily by the Times, if you had drunk milk punch, broth, and twice when you seem to have kicked the bronchial pneumonia, eaten a mutton chop. You dropped out of the news too when the paper thought you had improved enough to live without their noting every food and visitor, brother George, sister-in-law, biographer, favorite niece, Jesse, and your final physician, Dr. McAllister, your last words, a request to attend Fritzinger, worry, shift, roll over, Walt Whitman. You told the doctor who asked if you were in pain, no, almost inaudibly, a wisp of smoke floating out of the row house into the street, mixing with the air, falling later on as rain in poems and songs, recollected in tranquility, again and again. Um, I...